Halloween is just around the corner, so here to help us prepare some spooky and healthy snacks is integrative nutritionist yes. Karina Heinrich. Yay. All right, before we go trick or treating, you have this great idea. It's really important to eat a good, healthy meal so that the kids aren't wanting to snack on candy the entire time trick or treating, right? Exactly. People don't understand, but what you feed your kids. <laughs> the entire day really makes a difference with how much candy they're going to eat and their blood sugar levels. Mm. So I know it's really hard to get your kids to sit down and eat dinner because all they can think about is their costume and mm -hmm. trick-or-treating. But if you really bring Halloween into the house, yeah. make it very hands-on. I have three kids and anything that they can touch and feel makes them excited. Oh, this is fun. Yes. By the way, I go to a Halloween party where people craft, but it would be really cool if the kids came together and cooked. Yeah. Exactly. And they eat. So what exactly. Right. And they're more likely to eat what they make. Yeah. Because you mm. say, this is your dinner, Chase, so yes. whatever it looks like, you're eating. But <laughs> this is a spider webbed pizza. Wow. Very easy to make okay. because, especially if you have really little ones. So get whatever crust. This is cauliflower crust, so, or you can get whole wheat. I do like to kind of push a little bit of health if they don't know, because yeah. they're already going to be eating so much sugar. Put as much blood as you want. So this is obviously Bloody pizza sauce. So put it so, all over your pizza. You know what? I have a question because pizza sauce I struggle with because what's a good healthy pizza sauce and what's not? Because doesn't a lot of it have so much sugar? A lot has sugar. I have an amazing recipe on my website that takes 20 minutes to make, but you just want to read that label. And now people are really trying to make healthier pizza sauces mm -hmm. because, Actually, oh, here's another, I guess we're going to share. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. We're all about sharing. Okay. Okay. So we so spread this, the sauce on. Spread the sauce as much as you want. Now, a lot of kids, I don't know, my kids don't like a lot of sauce. So, again, it's about them putting how much they I love. Know, oh. But you're calling it, sauce. well, Justin has a big lump. Yes. But that's spooky and scary because this is blood. So then you get... A hematoma. Yeah, you get your spider web. <laughs> okay. Okay. So what is this, string cheese? Like and String cheese that I cut into fours. You get organic string cheese. So do a little cross. And what part of the spider web am I making? We're making the whole spider web, and this will take you like a few minutes. So make the cross, make it go all the way around oh, your cross. pizza. My bad. Okay, and then you're just adding it, and your spider web can be this as is big cute. or small. Oh, this is really cute. Then you cut smaller little pieces, mm -hmm. and these kind of go around. Again, your kids are making this so whatever they think looks like a spider web. Yours I mean, looks that's way really like very Picasso <laughs> spider web, but I love it. I, I, know, I, I love of, it. I don't know what I was doing. A lot of kids have a lot of allergy things. They're gluten, they're vegan free, they're all You can get, things. like, they're this vegan is amazing. Free? What's vegan, vegan free? free? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> it's a new thing, didn't you hear? I'm vegan free. You can get dairy free cheese, uh, cauliflower crust, gluten free crust. I mean, really now sky's the limit oh, with. Yeah, okay. Now I see what I'm doing. Okay, Especially if you're sense. having other kids My come over to make not dinner like with a you. Web. Okay, then I want you guys to take a black olive. And you're, if your kids don't like black olives, they do not have to eat this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you cut, you can get the little ones that are already cut. And you're gonna make a little spider oh, this is so cute. with the little feet. Aww. Okay. That's a creative like idea. In a, I mean, you can get fake ones, but again, we're all about just adding in those veggies that they're gonna eat. Yeah. Um, what are some other good veg, uh, veggie options that would be go good? go on the pizza? Yeah. I mean, I have, we the have bell love. peppers, broccoli. I mean, kids, my kids, my three kids are very picky. So I have to be really creative. Yeah. And so that's why any chance I get to try to allow my kids to eat more vegetables, we're going to do a vegetable skeleton. Okay, well, let's, let's do, do that. Because I need a crudite for my party. Okay. Can so, I take a bite of this? Is this cooked yet? Nope. It, all right. Yeah, I feel like you're nervous about that. Okay. We're nervous. Let's do it. Uh... We can have as many veggies as we want. <laughs> <laughs> the oven wasn't working back I got there. It, I got it. Um, okay. So really, sky's the limit. You want to create shoulders. So you can get these and start creating... And the ribs. The ribs. Aww. And here is his little body. Okay, this body. is cute. Oh, I thought that was going to be his pecs. <laughs> going all the way down. Okay, I like that. And you get your kids to do this. And you say, Chase, what are your favorite veggies? And if he says, none, you say, well, <laughs> these are going to become your new faves because it's a skeleton. 
And then they can dip it. You can put hummus, guacamole, yes. a healthy ranch dressing. And this is also great. This is not just about the kids because you know you're going to sneak into that candy when you're trick-or-treating. Yes. And so it's important for you to take the time to eat a healthy dinner as well. 100%. I'm so now, weak. If it's right in front of me, oh, What man. about, because we have a lot of kids at our house before Halloween. I'm talking like Walter Calhoun's a real person. <laughs> what if we're making a healthy dessert? for kids when they are at the house? Absolutely. What could be that, that thing? So I brought these little snacks, and there are marshmallows. There are gluten-free marshmallows now that you can get. Oh. Um, but this, people, kids think they're eating dessert, mm -hmm. but really it's healthy peanut butter and apples. And before you go trick-or-treating, before you eat any kind of sugar, you're going to want to get oh healthy carbs in you. And you're going to want to get fiber. You want your blood Ooh. sugar levels to always remain balanced. So all of these foods right here are going to do that for you and your kids. Wait. All Amazing. You did was split up an apple. Mm -hmm. An apple. Tea. Put peanut butter, and you make the tea. Wow, you this say, is really eat good. Your veggies, kids. Very, exactly. So <laughs> if your kids don't want to eat the vegetables, then mm -hmm. they're getting the apples. They're getting that fiber in somehow. Now, my goal is always to make sure my kids are well fed, well hydrated, because the worst thing ever is when your kids are out and you see that energy level kind of mm -hmm. go down. Um, so you want to pack some of these snacks with you. Yeah. Okay, really quick, I just want to huh? quickly go over another option if you want to give. You want to go rogue and not give candy at all, which my kids are getting excited about. It's candy, candy, candy. <laughs> you can give all of these. Don't give toothbrushes or raisin boxes. Yes. Okay, you don't want to be the toys. skip house. No. Do not be uh, that person. Fun toys, and my kids person. like love these. I loved these. No, no, do kid. not be that person at Halloween. <laughs> you don't. Your and house will get wrapped. Also, you can give the full candy bars to make was, up for it. Um, don't have too big of a, a bag, right? Absolutely. If you give your kids a pillowcase, they're going to fill it up. Yeah. So someone like um, a one-year-old, <laughs> let them color it. They're going to be so proud. And this is a smaller bag. Now I also have a nine-year-old, and he wants the biggest bag possible. So it's all about your wording. Oh wow. Hey, buddy, this bag is going to be so and so heavy. Are you sure you don't want me to get you a smaller one? And then he's like, uh, no, mom, that one's great. Yes. Yes. You never want to yeah. threaten a smaller one. Okay. So this is really important that they so take ownership of the bag. It. I love that idea. Yes. All right. Thank you so much for joining You're us. You're welcome. It's so much fun. You guys can check out Karina on Instagram at the Karina Method to download her brand new Karina Method recipes. We'll be right back with more Daily Pop this after this. I know. Well. These are actually really good. They're really good. They're Easy to make. This is all, this took what? Less than five minutes. Less than five minutes. Then you have to cook it.